Hey guys, Jamie Lee Media here. I just thought I'd come down to New Brighton today, which is not far from where I live, to do a quick video about a campaign I've been seeing on Facebook. It's called Gilnet Free World. It's, um, it was set up by a guy called Chris, who works with the Sea Wildlife Rescue Team um, around here. And um, he'd been finding a lot of gillnets along the beach. I'll pop in some pictures about what they're like and what they can do. Basically, these gillnets, they're indiscriminative about what they catch. Um, they've got porpoise, they've caught seals, they're known to catch um, seabirds as well. They're a really cruel way of fishing. The gillnets in themselves are not illegal, but the way they're being used down here on the world are. They're being set far too close together. And the other problem is, they're not only dangerous to sea life, they're also dangerous to dogs and wild swimmers, which has gotten really popular recently in New Brighton. They're also dangerous to horse riders who can get tangled up and injured. There's going to be some images coming up in a minute that might be distressing to some people, but it shows what can happen with these girl nets and these pictures are sourced from Chris who set up the campaign. What he's been doing recently is going down to the beach every morning to collect egg casings from like rays and sharks and stuff like that to show that we do have these species locally and that they need to be protected. It's heartbreaking to see things like seals and porpoise or, or any animal for that matter being left to just drown. If you want to show Chris on this campaign some support, search on Facebook for Gillnet Free World. Whilst you're here, don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you've got time, even comment. Let us know what you think. Take care, everyone. Goodbye.